Okay guys, so I've created a quick um, tutorial of how to get the birds to be flying on a path um, and how to get the birds to be flying and um, then to appear that he has stopped flying and then um, landing on a branch. So um, I have my scene here with a flying bird and a regular bird and um, I'm just going to create a a um cylinder here uh this cylinder is going to just form a little branch a little twig Let me rotate that turn on my angle snap which is here and snap it to about that let's make sure that it's straight okay and i'm going to put this bird on this branch here so I'll just use my rotate tool. Now these objects are a little small, so you might find when you try to zoom in, they get cut off. Uh, you can fix that. The quick fix to that is just change your view to orthographic view. There we go. You can zoom in as much as you want. <laughs> okay, so let's make this a little smaller in radius. Perhaps I use my scale tool. There we go. All right, that will do for then. Um, then I want to go to this flying bird. Now, for this bird, I want to put it along a path. So I'm going to get my line. Then I'm going to ensure that um, the the initial type is set to corner and the drag type is set to smooth um, this means that every time I click once I will get a corner and when I click and drag I will get it smooth so I'm gonna just create a quick path now when you draw the path note it's gonna be all flat alright so even though I'm drawing in 3d here these paths are all flat and if I orbit you'll see what I mean it's all flat so then I'm going to go to modify for this path so I'm going to click to modify and then I want to be able to change the vertex so now you're going to have to pay keen attention because this is flat but I want this to start going in the x-axis now so the bird will fly up and fly around fly up like that maybe up higher all right remember you are in three dimensions now so you have to keep spinning this around to find out what the flight path looks like then takes a big corner here and it's kind of like a roller coaster in a way flies around and then flies down like that so you know we have a little we have a nice little flight path here let's carry that in I'm just doing this randomly by the way so you can set the path to whatever you want okay now the idea is that you want them to start here and notice the start point has a little yellow bo box so when you see the yellow box of any spline it's really the start point now to let him go along the spline first we need to turn off vertex edited mode um, we need to click on our bird and then we're going to go up to animation constraint or we're going to create a constraint or we're going to create a path constraint which means it's going to constrain this bird to a path now you see this dash line it's asking you to select the path that you want it to constrain to so I would click anywhere along this line there we go now the path is constrained now the path is set to go from 0 to 100 frames and it will be constrained um, and animated along the path between these frames so if I 
start to drag forward notice that it is constrained to the path but it's not really moving like how we want so the first thing we need to do is fix how it's constrained to the path now to do that um, make sure you have the bird selected right and when you have the bird selected you want to ensure that you are on the motion tab so you're not going to modify this time you're going to motion and note for the motion tab you see where this object here um, has a path constraint so if I scroll down a little bit and I'm going to click the path constraint then I get some path constraint options like what percentage along the path is it constrained? I can change the the weight. I can make it follow. So let's let it follow. So it's now following the path. If you see that, which is great, but it's following it the wrong way, not by the head. So we want to now change the axis. So let's try the Y, and let's flip the Y, and there we go. So now it's following the path. Now, one more thing that might be interesting, because I notice this, this is a little bit robotic. So, for example, it follows the path like that. It's not quite like how the bird flies. So, the next thing we want to do is to add a bank. And what banking does is it allows the bird to turn based on the based on the angle now banking now the banking wouldn't work in this case and that is because of the the um the nature of this spline so let's leave off banking for now now the next thing we want to do is to change the length because if i click play now that's pretty fast so we know to do this already we have the length from zero to a hundred and you can see a start keyframe here and an end keyframe here so next we want to add more frames so we want to click this little time bar and let's carry it to about 500 frames uh, click on the bird and then extend the time you know to a longer time three times the amount so if I hit play now the bird flies a little bit um, slower Alright, that's not too bad. It just looks like the bird is soaring. Okay, so that will be the first thing that you would need to do to get the bird to, to fly.